trucks pill plus nil to the savior Every day I be asking for a favor Like the savers from the cells and the grave plots Straight broke, straight hating on what they got Stay hot, don't fall to the struggle Keep pushing till we ball and we bubble Going upstream Hey yo LAZ, if you out there and you make music And you need that real organic music promo And you need to be heard and seen by thousands of people Get at me you want to collab with me, send me a DM on Instagram at Real St. Laz or email at the gempopllc at gmail.com. You heard my resume is ignorant, like the bro decades would say. My resume is ignorant. You heard? I'm back in that lab too, spitting that heat. Broadcasting live from New York City. It's the hottest channel on these YouTube streets. The best jail stories and hood stories are here. Make sure you subscribe today. LAZ. shotgun from the mattress tells the young nigga he like 16 17 years old wild nigga from dominican republic he was wild in dominican republic you know what i'm saying that's why they sent his ass to new york he like yo do me a favor clear the corner you know what i'm saying i'm like oh shit why we doing all that i just want to I, I like to fight i don't like to kill i ain't a killer dog you know what i'm saying so this nigga passed the nigga the shoddy this nigga leave the building. I'm like, yo, Stone, you really want to do that? He like, nah, fuck that. Let them learn. I'm like. All right. Oh, all right. December 5th, 2003. You heard? I came home from, from the Sing Sing. That's crazy. Today is December 5th, right? Oh, is it? Yep, that's I crazy. Know. Everything is oh, written, baby. Today's December 5th, son. Yo, it's crazy, too, because I don't know if you watch the Weather Channel and do history on weather type shit, but December 5th, 2003, I was released from Sing Sing Correctional, right? Yo, I remember like yesterday because it was the first day that it snowed in New York for that winter, huh? Mm. Well, my pops had came to the train station, you know what I'm saying, gave me like a buck, but I had a check for like a, for like, you know what I'm saying, a couple of hundred dollars. Remember, they used to only give you a hundred dollars when they released you like the most, like a hundred or sixty or some shit like that. I can't remember, but then if you had more than a certain amount, they, the rest they gave you in a check, you know? Mm. Anyway, my pops had to go to work. He came up there, he blessed me. I had a bag full of clothes, but I ain't had no sneakers to match, you heard? So I didn't put the new outfit on. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't had the kicks to match. So I said, fuck it, when I get off the train, that's for the... You know what I mean? And start my life over. You huh? heard? Yeah, you had broke up for a second. You said when you get off the train, what happened? When I got off the train, you heard? When you get off the train and sing, from Sing Sing, you know, you take that Amtrak shit, I believe it's called, right? Amtrak, drop you up by the Major Deegan and Fordham. Mm. So I get off the train, B, I start my life all over again, fresh from Sing Sing in my motherfucking blue jean shit with the whack ass belt they give you, and that sweater, ugly ass, like brownish sweater, you know what I'm saying? I got my bag full of clothes, I'm walking down Fordham Road towards the concourse, I live on 182nd in the concourse, you know what I'm saying? So I remember it like yesterday, son, I get home. I saw a Bluetooth for the first time, too. I thought a nigga was talking to himself. I almost popped on him. I thought he was a loco, you heard? Mm -hmm. Walking towards me with a Bluetooth in his ear. That shit got, you I got paranoid, son. I was like, oh, shut the fuck. I thought it was one of them crazy niggas be talking to themselves, probably pop on you for no reason. Anyway. Anyway, I got home. They threw a party for me. You know what I'm saying? The day I got home, my family did. I woke up in the morning with $1,100, you heard? You think I do the right thing with it, but I didn't. I didn't learn my lesson yet, last. You heard? How long you had just what? did? 
I did three in a month at that time. You heard? On the last bit, on that bit, I did three in a month. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So they threw a party for me, all that. You know what I'm saying? I went and saw my homegirl Rumble. You know what I'm saying? The next day I went to Manhattan, checked out my, my homegirl that was writing me. You know what I'm saying? We still homies too, niggas. It's 99, man. Shout out to Rumble. Uh, so go check her out. But when I was going to check her out, I bumped into Stoney the Brainiac on the four train in the 183rd. You uh, heard? Bugging. He on the other side of the turnstile. He just bought his Metro card or whatever. I see the nigga, we bugging out. Yo, what up? Yo, Showtime was good. Ah, uh, we bugging out. You know what I'm saying? We reminiscing about being up north for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, how you doing since you been home? Whatever, whatever. He was going to work. I was going to my people's crib. He was getting off the stop before me. Anyway, long story short, I lose the nigga number. I went to see my homegirl. I ain't had a phone yet, but he wrote it down on a piece of paper. I lost the nigga number. You heard? I get back to the Bronx, I can't get, you know what I'm saying, I don't got no contact with this nigga. I know he live in my area somewhere, though, because I met him on the 183rd train station down the block from me, you know what I'm saying? So one day, I don't know how, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, how the stars be aligning or how God be working things out, but he do. One day, I say, yo, I got to find this nigga. So I goes, I start walking around the third. I'm walking around Creston, Walton, Morris, Jerome, the Concourse. I'm just walking around. It's winter time, but it's nice outside. You know what I'm saying? Even though there was some slush on the floor, it was not cold outside. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in a pilot jacket. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever, walking around. This nigga had the day off. He walking around. We bump into each other. Yo, what's good? Ah, we bugging out again. You know what I'm saying? He tells me, yo, his man Yaya wrote him, and he's going to this nigga baby mom's house because the baby mom's got a new man, and every time he calls to talk to the kids, the new nigga be banging the phone on him. You huh? Yeah. Like, the new nigga just don't want, you know what I'm saying, this nigga to talk to his kids. He's just hating, you know, or, or he feel a certain way because maybe that's the girl, that's the nigga that the girl really loved or whatever, but he locked up forever. Shout out to Yaya, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, he says, yo, we going over there. I said, fuck it, we out. We goes over there. Last, it was crazy. We walked 180-something in Bathgate. I remember like yesterday, we, he knocked on the door. He like, yo, you Mike? The dude like, yeah, I'm Mike. What, what happened? Boom, he rushed in the door, slaps this nigga. Bam, throws him on the couch. Boom, slaps him again. Bam, dude don't know what the fuck going on, right? Some lame nigga. He's sitting on the couch like, yo, what happened? What happened? Yo, what happened? What's this? You heard he said, yo, next time y'all y'all call to speak to his kids, man, you make sure you have that conversation with them babies. You could keep the bitch, but make sure he talk to his kids. You know what I'm saying? So dude, like, ah, yo, you got it, fam. While he's doing that, I picked up the cat. They had a like, not nice little fluffy white cat. I'm petting the cat and shit. You know what I'm saying? While he doing that, that nigga turn around and look at me. He like, yo, pay, you want anything from this house? You know what I'm saying? I, I just came home. I've been home. I've been home eight, nine days, my nigga. You heard? When this happened. I'm like, damn, this nigga want me to rob the house. He said, you want anything from this house? I said, I want the cat, my nigga. He said, nah, nah, not the cat, B. We ain't walking around the Bronx with no fucking cat. Ah, he start bugging out. We laughing and shit. We leave. But right before we leave, I throw the cat at homeboy. Bow, the cat scream. This nigga like, uh, we leave. <laughs> You heard? True story. We leave. We hit the block. This nigga like, yo, I can get you a job at this messenger service shit. This time the third. Ah, uh, because he was working at some messenger service shit in Manhattan. He like, yo, I'll get you a job at this messenger service shit. You know what I'm saying? You home, you on parole. You know parole. Won't see them pay stubs. This time the third. Parole told me I had two options. I could do some programs for anger management and, um, and, um, like drug program shit too. Or I could go get a job, but I got to bring the pay stub every week, right? So I, I, ain't, I ain't about that program. Like, I hate a school. You know what I'm saying? I don't really do that program shit. So I was like, fuck it. I, t- I, I told him I was going to find a job. So they was giving me a couple weeks to find a job or whatever. Uh, or else I had to do that program shit. I went to, like, a program, like, one or two days. I was like, nah, fuck this program. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he gave me the job where he worked at and this messenger service shit. You huh? Mm. Mind you, I just went up north getting eleven, twelve hundred dollars a day before that's why I caught that case. I worked for two weeks at this job shit. They hold a check back 
right? I don't know why, you know what I'm saying, people do that, but they hold like a week back and then they pay you the second week. Niggas gave me $153.09 or some shit like that, you heard? So I'm looking at this check and I'm like, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm still young, 24 years old. I'm like, damn, son. $153. I walked around Manhattan, nigga. My feet be hurting. I'm over here fucking messing in the street. I, you know, my head wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even try to work my way up through the company. I said, fuck that. I went back to the Bronx and I bought an ounce of marijuana. Now, mind you, I still had a little bit of money from that party left over, even though I got fly and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I took that check, bro. And I went and bought an ounce of Reggie's at the time. You know what I'm saying? Back in 04, uh, there was still Reggie's and shit. You feel me? Back in 2003, 2004, niggas were still smoking the Reggie's around 183rd. You know what I'm saying? People still liked it. The Arizonas and all of that, whatever, whatever. So I bought me an O with that. And I flipped it the same day I bought the O. I got rid of it in nickel bags and shit. I was like, oh shit, I like this 183rd shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not originally from there. I'm from Parkside, but that's where they paroled me to because my family from over there. You know what I'm saying? So, so I flipped up O. Oh, I bought two O's, boom, I kept doing that, boom, until I got a quarter pound. I ain't talked to Stone in like a week, bro. You know what I'm saying? This nigga was going to work. One day he come to my house like, yo, why you ain't coming to work, bro? Like, you quit, nigga? I told him, nigga, I said, yo, my nigga, I just came home. You know what I'm saying? And I was getting money before I went up north. My nigga, I can't do that $150 a week shit. You feel me? He's like, nah, yo, it take time, you know what I'm saying? You work your way in, you know what I'm saying? You get cool with the right people like I did, because he was like a manager over there, you heard? I was like, nah, my nigga, I can't do it, you heard? He said, oh, what you gonna do? So I take the nigga to my room. I showed him the bud, all bagged up, about a quarter pound. He like, oh, that's what you doing? I said, yeah, my nigga, I'm sorry, B, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the opportunity, though. He like, fuck it, I quit my job. I said, why you gonna do that? He said, I'm fucking with you, nigga. I said, nah, son, you don't. I, see, see, back then, I told you, I had my head on right. And I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't worried about incarceration. I thought everything was funny to me. You know what I'm saying? The incarceration really didn't hurt my feelings, you know, back in those times. You know what I'm saying? So he like, he gonna quit his job, come fuck with me. I told the nigga, I said, nah, you don't want to do that. He like, nah, nah, fuck that, nigga, I'm riding with you. I said, this was going to happen, my nigga. And this is exactly what happened, too. I said, this was going to happen. We're going to get money. We're going to get fly. We're going to fuck some bitches. We're going to get locked up, but we're going to die, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's the only thing that's really going to happen. He said, fuck it. I said, you sure? He said, yeah. Boom. That nigga helped me open up the weed spot. That nigga helped me with the bug. We start pushing the bug. So one day, in my lobby, right in my, my door, my apartment door, was by the steps, you know what I'm saying, going up, you know what I'm saying, in the concourse, like, like when you come out my apartment, you can see the steps that go right up, you know what I'm saying, we, I lived on the first floor, mm. one day I came, we getting money, we chilling, you know what I'm saying, nice little bug flow, started off with the Reggies, got the Arizona, next thing you know, we got Purple Haze, we got Hydro, we was doing our little thing, one day I come out, I'm coming in the building to go to my crib, there's a nigga smoking a blunt in my building, that's not allowed, you can buy a bud in my building, but you can't sit here and smoke it. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know who dude was. He had all the guts from the Philly on the floor. So I was like, yo, fam, you know you got to pick that up, Rob. It's Dominican nigga. He just looked at me, and he wasn't phased, bro. He looked at me like I was a bird, my nigga. You heard? He looked at me like, who the fuck is this nigga? You know what I'm saying? This, is in, this is in on 183rd or in Parkside? Nah, this is in 182nd in the concourse. You heard? In between 182nd, 181st, man. 2185, man. Salute to all my peoples, man. Whole bank of Frenchy, Brent, Knuckles, everybody over there. God bless y'all niggas. So, this nigga look at me like I'm a bird, son, and he kept smoking his blood. I'm about to pop on this nigga. Stony with the nigga. Stony with me. You know what I'm saying? And, and my Spanish fucked up, but Stony speak better Spanish than me. You heard? So he he said to the son, 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 son in Spanish to the brother, you heard? And the nigga, they started talking. I'm ready to punch this nigga in his face. My son, like, yo, chill, fall back. Hold on, let me talk to this nigga. I'm like, nah, get this nigga the fuck out of my building. You know what I'm saying? Dude was not scared, son. Dude, he, he was not respecting it, right? But he looking at me like, yo, why he so mad? Anyway, Stone talked to him. You know what I'm saying? Try to calm me down. 
You know what I'm saying? Dude left. He picked up the guts and the nigga left. But Stoney, he picked this shit up and he and threw it in a brown paper bag and he left. You know what I'm saying? I right, whatever the case may be. I, this is important. This dude is important. He wants to become important to us later. You heard? I didn't know who he was. Anyway, one day, we go, my sister, she don't drink tap water. You heard? This one made me lit on that block at the time. Nobody really knew me. I'm from Parkside. Yeah, my family from the third, but I ain't grow, you know what I'm saying? I ain't grow up really being around them niggas like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just paroled there because my sister was like, yeah, you can stay with me on parole, whatever, whatever. So one day, my sister like, yo, could you go to the grocery store, give me a gallon of water because she don't drink from the tap. So I'm like, all right, cool. So now we got our phones and all that. I used to make my sales off my phone and do deliveries and shit to niggas and shit like that. That's how I was getting it. Well, on the way to the store, some nigga called me. I served him. I go to the store, me and Stoney together. When we coming back, we pass him 181st. There's a barbershop. Some Dominican niggas in the front. Me and this nigga talking, having a beautiful day. We laughing at the world. We walking past these Dominican cats. The Dominican cat says something in Spanish. You know what I'm saying? No, Stoney looked. He said, look at these bird ass niggas. You heard the nigga said, the nigga said to Stoney, yo, you know how to speak Spanish? Speak in Spanish, nigga. So the nigga stone stop like, oh, this nigga talking to us. Turn, barked on the nigga, you heard? What nigga? Ah, ah, you know what I'm saying? About to put it on his son. And son folded, but the kids that he was with, one of them used to buy butter off of me. So he was like, yo, chair, no beef, you know what I'm saying? That's my man, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm like, yo, tell your man, watch his mouth before he get washed up. You know what I'm saying? He like, yo, nah, nah, nah. So they folded, we laughed it off. We go, we go into the building, we chilling, you know what I'm saying? With the nigga Lou, you know what I'm saying? My nigga uh, Knuckles, my nigga CJ, we all chilling. You know what I'm saying? We let that shit go for a little while. I'm about to, I, I run out of blood, so I'm gonna go to the apartment and get some more blood, you heard? And, but right before I go, I see the nigga Stone looking out the door in the lobby and he looking out like, he looking like, yo, what the fuck? And he go outside. So I'm like, what the fuck this nigga doing? I, I, I go to peek to see what's going on. It's, a, it's like five, six Dominican niggas in my courtyard, son. You heard? The kid that we brought down, that nigga got a Fendi and went and got some peoples, you heard? So when he went and got those peoples, they came back to my building. Step to him, you know what I'm saying? The nigga said, yo, you brought your friends for us? That dude said, nah, yo, anda solo. That means I walk alone, you know what I'm saying? So the nigga said in Spanish, since you walk alone, this is yours. Rock the nigga. And then them niggas jumped off, you heard? Everybody jumped off. We getting it on with, we getting it on with like five, six dudes. Now the niggas that was in my building, that was in the lobby with us, two of them niggas was young, like 13, 14. They just watching. You know what I'm saying? This bitch ass nigga I have with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say your name too, my nigga. You should be ashamed of yourself, you heard? With some gangster nigga. I seen this nigga put, I seen this nigga bust a gun off and all that. But this nigga folded when it was for hand combat. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Luke, you heard? Fuck that nigga. Anyway. We got it on with these niggas. It was crazy. I threw a nigga face into the air conditioner. You know what I'm saying? From my super shit. You know how they got the basement apartments. This nigga had an air conditioner coming out that little. So, we probably, anyway, we get it on with these niggas. Slamming niggas into motherfucking air conditioners. One nigga, though, the last nigga, I had a I had a, the same hoodie type shit. Like, the same color as this nigga. I can't remember if it was gray or, or, or brown. But... I slams in, I slams the nigga off the last two steps. This, this before they had the gate in front of the building. They got a gate now. Boom, slams in front. My son, me and this nigga, me and this, I'm, I'm trying to grind a pound. This one kid, my son think I'm the other kid in the melee. He punched me. Bow. I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? He's like, oh yo, my bad pounds. You know what I'm saying? Then we start stomping dude out. And, and, and we let the niggas run off. I told the nigga, run with your friends, man. You know what I'm saying? The nigga ran with his peoples. I kept the nigga hat. The nigga dropped his hat. Nice hat, too. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, long story short, the dude that was smoking the blunt in my building that one day, that um, I, I, that I wanted to snuff because he put the guts on the floor, he seen the whole shit. This is why I say he's important to us. You know what I'm saying? His name was Willie. They deported him, man. Shout out to my nigga Willie. You know what I'm saying? But he seen that shit. He come running over, but by the time he ran over from the, from across the street, it was over. You know what I'm saying? These niggas was running. 
So I don't know why they ran. They, they tried to jump us, but they wasn't good at jumping us, some little Dominican kids, you know what I'm saying? So Willie come over, ah, ah, yo, y'all good, yeah, we good, you know what I'm saying? I went and slammed Lou up because the nigga didn't pop, you know what I'm saying? You just watched us get jumped, my nigga, you ain't pop, so I slammed this nigga around. You know, everybody telling me to chill. You see, I was I was mad at the nigga. I, I, I ain't beat him up, but I slammed him in the wall a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? But whatever. The nigga Willie start talking to us, he like, yo, like a couple of days pass, nigga come and press me. He like, yo, where your man Stoney at? I'm like, yo, he'll be, he be here in a little while. He like, yeah, I want to talk to y'all. All right, cool. Let it go. Stone comes up. I said, yo, you got Dominican kid. Be his English fucked up, but he said he won't talk to us. You know what I'm saying? So Stone like, I right, bet. He calls the nigga. I don't know how he got the nigga number, but he wound up calling the nigga like, yo, we over here. The nigga like, yo, come to this apartment. Ah, I gave us an address. It was like 167 or some shit. Damn, way down. You heard? We go to the nigga apartment. When we get there, this nigga's cooking mad quills on a frying pan, my nigga. You hear me? This nigga's like, yo, I like y'all nigga's style. You know what I'm saying? I can fuck with niggas like y'all. This and a third, I don't know. You know I'm saying? I got this little setup going on. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be in y'all hood. I got work out there. We wasn't trying to fuck with the crew. I wasn't trying to fuck with the crews. You know, I just came back home from fucking with the crews. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really with it. But at the same time, I wanted that bread too. So he told me, yo, you ain't never your plan. You ain't never got to get dirty. We just, want, I just want you to be out there with my, with my workers and hold them down. I said, fuck it. We, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about? He like, yo, I'm going to give you such a such. He, he going to give us like. 20% of every, everything he push over there. You heard? We already got the bud, so I said, fuck it, that's just extra money. I'll take that. You know what I'm saying? So me and Stone start fucking with that kid, Willie, and that's where shit got dark again, son. You feel me? Once we started fucking with him, you know what I'm saying? It's like we got the block. You feel me? All we doing really is pumping blood and, and looking out for these niggas at first. But then the nigga Stone want to invest his own money into the cribs. You know what I'm saying? And we start getting more cake. You feel me? Now we out, now we outside all day, every day, nigga. Straight loser shit. We outside all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm never really dirty, but you know what I'm saying? I'm dirty. You feel me? I'm holding the pistol and all that. I'm fucking 24 years old. Just came home from prison. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been home like a whole month yet. And this is what we doing. You feel me? So, one day, some nigga almost bumps my nigga Stone. We in front of the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? I went and pressed the nigga. You heard the nigga came back with some niggas from Valentine. You know what I mean? We got it on with these niggas. You heard these niggas try to jump me. Like, first nigga, nigga, niggas walks past Stoney on some asshole shit. Almost bumps us. We chilling, minding our own business. I asked fam, I'm like, yo fam, let me ask you something, son. You think niggas is pussy? You know what I'm saying? Why, you know, he winded us. He ain't really bump, but he winded a nigga. So he was like, nah, I ain't got no beef. Uh, he came back with another nigga. I popped on him. Me and Stone, we popped on both of them. They ran off. Couple of hours passed. You know what I'm saying? And it's Friday night. The, but what you mean? He, he said I ain't got no problem and spent off like it wasn't nothing and came right back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I pressed him the first time, he said he ain't want no problem. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I wasn't like that, fam. Ah, uh, because he almost bumped my son. With the whole concourse to walk, he want to try to play close to the wall where we standing. You know what I'm saying? So when he walked past Stone, I felt it was disrespectful. So I caught him over. You know what I'm saying? I said, yo, fam, hold on. Let me ask you something. I said, yo, yo you think niggas is pussy? He's like, nah, fam, ain't like even like that. Uh, I said, I, I, I mushed the nigga. Fuck out of here, son. The nigga left. He came back with another nigga. He said, I found out later these niggas was from Valentine. But when he came back the second time, we popped on them. They ran. The whole block came. Mind you, we got the block now. We got like 30 niggas with us. So what he you know did, what though, he came, back, he, came back, he came back and said something? The, he came back one time with, a, one, with another nigga. They got popped on. They ran. Then he came back later on that night. I got the haze, like we got coke, we got krills. I see a whole crowd of niggas walking from 183rd. We on 182nd. I'm like, yo, my shiesty ass, you know what I'm saying? Being greedy, you heard? I said, we all got blood here. I said, let me rock my homegirl, Vanessa. God bless her, man. If you hear this, boo, I love you. Rock. 
she got a bike. I'm like, yo, V, let me see your bike real quick. I start riding towards the crowd of niggas. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna serve these niggas the rest of this haze I got on me. They probably going to a party. It's Friday night. These niggas like 13 deep. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, let me go bump this haze to these niggas before they get to the corner and everybody start, you know what I'm saying? Pro promoting their shit, right? So even though it was my shit, I just wanted that sale. You feel me? So I start riding to them niggas. I'm like, yo, I got that haze. You know what I'm saying? Ah, ah. And the kid that it initially started with, he was in the middle of the crowd. He like, that's that nigga right there. Them niggas popped on me, lads. You heard? Rocked me off my bike, my nigga. Bing. I grabbed the car and I pulled myself to the other side of the car. These niggas whipping my ass. You hear me? But I'm, you know, all of a sudden, I see Stoney comes with a milk crate, starts swinging at niggas, trying to back him up off me, and the whole block comes, my nigga. We get it on with these niggas in the middle of the Grand Concourse. We get it on with these niggas. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, at first, I was getting my ass whipped. Now, I got a squad helping me whip these niggas' ass, you know? These niggas retreated. Long story short, they retreated. <laughs> But they sent another nigga. After, after maybe like, you know what I'm saying, a half an hour, 45 minutes passed. I'm done. I ain't got no more drugs. I'm about to shut it down for the day. You know what I'm saying? These two older niggas. One had a cast on. The nigga with a cast had a cast and a baseball bat in his other hand. You heard? I used to go in the Aki stores. That's my thing, son. I always change bills with Aki's. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in the Aki store when these two Puerto Rican niggas come in. These niggas look dangerous. Older niggas, too, like in their 50s, maybe 40s or 50s. I'm 24 at the time. They was older than me, but they could have been my father's age. But they walk in. One nigga, it's winter time. This nigga got a tank top on with a leather jacket. One short Puerto Rican motherfucker and his big ass friend got the broken arm with the baseball bat. So I'm like, oh shit, yo, who, who, who these niggas? I felt the energy. I'm like, these niggas feel uncomfortable to me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I walks out the store and I stand in front of it though. They come out the store too. They're like, yo, you pounds? I'm like, yeah, but what happened? I looked, I looked down the block a little bit too. I looked both ways. I see my little sister coming. Cause her man heard, of, you know what I'm saying? He saw the whole melee. He went and told my sister, you know what I'm saying? So she coming down the block. I got these two killers in front of me. I'm like, damn, this ain't a good look. Now I'm getting uncomfortable. I don't want my little sister to get caught up in the shit I do. You know what I'm saying? She coming down the block mad at me too. You know, she about to bark on me, but he, they don't know that. She ain't get to me us yet. I said, yeah, I'm parents, why what's up? He said, he looked at his partner. He looked me in my eyes, I'm looking this nigga in his eyes. The nigga smiled, some devious ass smile. He said, I like you, kid. He patted me on my chest, pop, pop, pop. Like three, four times, he tapped me on my chest. Like, yo, I like you, son, you got heart. He told his friend in Spanish, Bamo, and they left me alone, son. My sister crossed the street, she started cursing me out. Yo, nigga, you just got home, you back on that stupid shit. Ah, 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 why you wildin' out out here? Ah, I'm looking at my sister, the whole block, like, I tell the niggas on the block, yo, I'm out, but I see y'all niggas tomorrow. These niggas start laughing. Yo, this nigga pound scared of his sister, son. This nigga just rocked, this nigga just fought the whole world, but he's scared of his sister. Uh, I am scared, I, I, don't, I ain't scared of my sister. I love my sister, and she's always right, you know what I'm saying? So I goes upstairs. Long story short, we got this black man shit happening. We clicking, we getting money. You know what I'm saying? We fucking mad bitches. I'm fucking a porno star bitch from Morris Avenue. You know what I'm We wildin' the fuck out. We, we kids, you know what I'm saying? Having the time of our life. You heard? So one day, this shorty, she had a jaw broken too. You know what I'm saying? She used to buy butter for me. I asked her her life story, like, yo, what happened to your jaw? She started telling me about her boyfriend beat her up and she's still with the nigga. And he be stalking her. She can't talk to me that long because he gonna see her out here. This then a third. I felt bad for her. You know what I'm saying? I told her, I said, yo, if you scared of that nigga, you could come stay with me. You know what I'm saying? She like, nah, I don't want to bring you no problems. I ain't care about having a problem. You know, I thought I was all that. You heard? So I started, she, she a couple of days, you know what I'm saying, talking to her, she buying butt. I geased her into staying with me. Now her man was a Latin king. I don't really want to say no names because niggas be mad at me for what I did. You know what I'm saying? But I bagged the nigga shorty. You know? I let her stay in my crib. She stood in my crib like a month. You know what I'm saying? So one day I comes outside my building. It's three Puerto Rican niggas in front of my building. They're like, oh yeah, they knew, I knew who they was and they knew who I was, but we wasn't friends. You know what I'm saying? They lived across the street on the same block, but across the street a couple of buildings then. 
so the nigga say, oh yeah, you see Vanessa? I said, nah, I ain't seen no Vanessa, nigga. You heard? And I kept walking, you heard? The niggas was sitting there confused, like, yo, this nigga just walked off on us. I just walked off on him. So them niggas was mad about that, I ain't want to talk. Couple days after that, I comes out my building again. A bunch of Land King niggas who, outside. Who they was asking you, know who did you see, though? He was asking me if I seen his girl, you heard? That that same girl? Got, yeah, she's sleeping in my room, you heard? She's sleeping in my room, wooed out. Nigga, I was having fun with that, you know what I'm saying? But this nigga asked me if I seen her. I said, nah, I ain't seen her, you know what I'm saying? Her name was Vanessa, but he said bun ass out because he had that Puerto Rican accent and shit. So I made fun of him and I walked away. So I ain't seen no Vanessa. And I kept moving, you heard? So the niggas just stood there. A couple days after that, I comes out my building. It's like 10 Puerto Ricans in front of my building don't belong there. You heard Latin King niggas. One of them I knew, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Suave, he like, yo, Payne, let me ask you something, son. I'm like, what's good? He like, yo, you fucking the manitos. Uh, you know, I'm LK. He like, yo, you fucking the manitos, girl. I'm like, yo, what the fuck you pressing me for about somebody bitch, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? He like, nah, yo, you know that's a violation to the nation, this, that, and the third. I said, you know what's a violation? Beating bitches up, my nigga. How about those? You know, I said, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you, I don't know what you want me to talk to you about, my nigga. He like, yo, let me talk. He pulled me to the side. He like, yo, relax, my nigga. You know these niggas is out here to do damage, nigga. If you violate it, I said, I don't give a fuck about all that. You know what I'm saying? I got a thing on me too. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about all that. So they left me alone. Couple days pass again. This what pissed Stony off. This where they get stony pissed the fuck off. Couple days pass. I'm on Creston in 182nd talking to this brother. I can't remember this brother's name. I see him every time I go home too. And I ain't never knew his name. He's just one of them cool brothers you say what up to. You know, you live in the hood, you might nod your head. You see this nigga in the store, in the pizza shop. Seeing your what up, fam. Eyes fly. I'm while talking to this dude. They got a dope spot on 182nd back in the days. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to the nigga. As soon as I stop talking to the nigga, I, I, I'm about to dip. To, to the concourse, and um, these niggas ran up on me with a baseball bat. The kids, the, the girls met boyfriend, and two other Puerto Rican niggas. You heard? They're like, yo, what's up? I'm like, you got a baseball bat, my nigga? So I throws my hands up, but I'm moving backwards. I'm like, he can only swing that bat one time. They going to jump me. They probably going to stab me. I got my hands up moving back when all of a sudden a whole bunch of brothers beat. All the black brothers that was on the corner question that was talking to my to homie that I was talking to, they all held me down. Ah, these niggas ran. Shh. These niggas took off. You heard? Ah, uh, ah, uh, that shit started. That shit started. That shit turned everything around. That day was the day that I said, yo, I want war with these niggas. These niggas tried to bring baseball bats at me. Uh, I, I was emotional. Stony want war with them too. They literally, they crack spot is literally across the street from our shit. You know what I'm saying? Where we pump at, we looking at these niggas across the street. Mad tension in the air, you heard? So this goes on for a couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? So one day, I had this some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? I, one of they one of they customers that always go to them, they had the blues, we had the clear bags. One of they customers that always go to them was on our side of things. I pressed them to not go over there no more. And they was watching me do it. I thought it was funny. They ain't think it was funny. They was like, yo, this this fucking pounds kid don't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So what they did, when I wasn't on the block one day, it was quiet late, late in the night. They came across the street and stood on our corner and pumped they shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just to let us know, like, we not scared neither. You heard? But we wasn't out there when they did it. Some kid came and reported that to us. You know what I'm saying? So Stone was like, ah, y'all yeah, niggas, you know, I could talk about it now because the statute of limitations and shit, God, you know what I'm saying? Fuck the law. But back then, I wouldn't have told you this. What happened was, when the niggas came to our spot, because we had a spot on Creston, you know, a little rented room, we was hiding out. We used to, you know, some crackhead house, we get this nigga some cribs, he give us the apartment. So, this kid came and reported, you know what I'm saying, one of the shorties, you know what I'm saying, one of these little niggas used to love us. He like, yo, these niggas came across the street, nigga, they on the corner, uh -huh. I'm like, oh, word. So there was this kid, man, he from the Dominican Republic, you heard? He was new in New York. He only been in New York like a year. He was 17 years old. I ain't gonna say son name, but I love this nigga, right? You know what I'm saying? He doing, he did his time too, so I could talk about it now, but back then I wouldn't have told you this. So Stone pulls out the sort of shotgun from the mattress, tells the young nigga, he like 16, 17 years old, wild nigga from Dominican Republic. He was wild in Dominican Republic, you know what I'm saying? That's why they sent his ass to New York. He like, yo, do me a favor. 
clear the corner. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit, why we doing all that? I just wanna, I, I like to fight, I don't like to kill. I ain't a killer though, you know what I'm saying? So this nigga passed the nigga the shoddy, this nigga leaves the building. I'm like, yo, Stone, you really wanna do that? He like, nah, fuck that, let them learn. I'm like, yeah, nigga, don't do all that, you know what I'm saying? So some walking, he, yo, he ain't even asked two questions, my nigga. He just said yes and left, man, this young kid, bro. This nigga walking down the block, so we walk behind him. We come out the building after he left the building, we come out. Nobody's on our corner no more. They back on their side of this. This nigga walks straight up to everybody, cocks the shit back. Boom! 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 Let's off a whole bunch of shit. You're everybody running. You know what I'm saying? There's a nigga laying on the floor, lads. You heard? I'm across the street looking at this shit like, damn, son. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling horrible, son. I'm like, yo, we just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? We was getting this money, chilling. It's over now. That's what I thought to myself. I said, it's over now. You know what I'm saying? Dude ain't died, thank God. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga had to, later on in life, you know, that nigga had to wear the shit bag and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? The colostomy bag, I think it's called. You know what I'm saying? But he, that's, he the only nigga got hit. Out of all that mess, only one nigga got hit. He was a crackhead, too. But he used to fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, long story short, I try to lay low after that day. You heard? I told Stoney too, let's lay low for a couple of weeks. I'm still on parole, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we like 90 days home, nigga. I'm like 90 days home at the time. I'm still on parole. I try to lay low from that corner for a week or two, you know what I'm saying? So I'm walking around boredom. I'm walking, I'm, I'm walking around one day, I see my Cody. Remember the Cody nigga I told you he did some bum shit on the island, told the police I was a king so they could move me out of 8th building? Yeah. I bump into that nigga. I know him from Manhattan. I bump into him on Field Place in Creston. Yo, what up, son? What you doing out here? You know what I let bygones be bygones. He home, I'm home. We talking. What I don't know is these niggas is being investigated. They got police on rules. They got police in the apartments watching these niggas. I don't know this shit. The people he fucking with. This nigga's a bird. You know what I'm saying? But the people he fucking with, they just getting money over there on Field Place and Crested. So, I don't know this. They taking pictures of us and all that. I don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even see it. Anyway, about a week after that, parole comes to my apartment. They was coming all the time, but they never caught me with nothing. They was coming to make sure my fist wasn't dirty. And they even changed my parole to, a, to, to Pacheco in 138th because Vargas didn't like dealing with me. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, they come to my crib one day, son. I'm chilling. Stony not there. He had slept over, but he had some bitch. He was with the bitch somewhere. You heard? Police, the, the parole knock on my door. Do, 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 do. I'm like, oh shit. So, you know, I kept everything in another room because they could only check my room. You know, when you want parole in somebody else's house, they could only check your room back then anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I let them in. Yo, it's good, man. They got two other, they got two other people with them. Yo, I don't know who the other two are. I know Pacheco and Vargas, but I don't know the other two officers they got with them. So I'm thinking that's odd. I'm like, what's good? They like, yo, hey, they gave me a cup. They, I mean, they piss in this cup. Uh, they put the stick in it. I'm, my, my shit not dirty. Blue. They like, yo. They saw, they, they went in my room. I had gold, I had gold teeth with the fangs. They're like, yo, we confiscating these. I'm like, why? They're like, yo, because you got violence on your record and you got something sharp in your possession. You can't have this. They sharp. I said, you think I'm going to cut somebody, put them back in my mouth? The nigga told me, this is New York City, nigga. We see worse out here every day. I'm like, ah, right, whatever. Take them shits. He said, you could get them back after you complete parole. You got 120 days to pick up your property. I'm like, what the fuck? Ah, right, whatever, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Then the officers that they was with, they was like, yo, we want to ask you a question. I said, oh, man, here we go. They said, yo, when's the last time you seen Mr. I don't want to say his whole name, girl. But they was like, yo, when's the last time you seen Mr. I said, I ain't seen that nigga since we got locked up, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're like, you want to start this over? I'm like, what you mean? They're like, you want to give us, you know what I'm saying, the real answer? I'm like, yo, I ain't seen that nigga since we got locked up, bro. He said, they had a manila envelope. This nigga says, yo, there you go, lying. I'm like, you calling me a liar? I started getting confrontational. He pulls out the manila envelope and pulls out some big ass pictures. You heard he puts them on my sister's kitchen table shit, where we be standing by the kitchen. He like, and he starts spreading the pictures out. I see me talking to this nigga the day that I seen him, the only time I ever seen him. You heard? 
So I'm like, oh shit, I just lied to these niggas. I got caught in a lie. So I told the nigga, I said, yo, my nigga, this is the Bronx, this is New York City. I can't tell niggas where to be. I just bumped into that nigga. You gonna cuff me or something? Because if you think I did something, y'all would already have me in cuffs. He was like, nah, you ain't do nothing, but do us a favor. When you see, they start leaving, he was like, yeah, I, he said, do us a favor. If you see him before we do, tell him to turn himself in. So they leaving out the apartment, and I stopped him. I said, yo, but why y'all looking for her for? You know i Why y'all looking for something for? The nigga pulls out his pocket, a, 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 a fucking like a business card, and he passed it to me. You heard? I read the shit. It said, Officer such and such, 46th Precinct, homicide. I said, Oh, this nigga done caught a body over here trying to hang out with me, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So they leave. My life get crazier. Me and Stoney getting money. Stoney beating niggas up. Stoney got stitches in his head because he popped on some niggas from Fordham. They broke a bottle in a nigga head. That back in the days with the chirp chirp phones and shit. You know what I'm saying? He chirping me like, yo, come to Fordham. Uh, uh, yo, I got smoke. Uh, uh, by the time I get there, I got to take this. It's already over. This nigga whole head leaking. He had long hair too. This nigga head leaking. Got to take this nigga to, to the hospital and all that. He gets staples and shit. And this shit. Like, mad shit was happening. You heard? So... One day, my sister called me. It's the middle of the night. I used to go home like at 8.55 because I had to be home for parole by 9, right? I used to go home every day, 8.55, go chilling in. If the parole didn't come by 10.30, 11 o'clock, I would dip again, you huh? I thought I was slick. Well, one day I did that shit, I did. These niggas came to my house like 11.30, my nigga, you heard? Pressing my sister, I'm not there. So my sister hit me up as soon as they leave. Hey, yo, don't come to the crib, nigga. I'm like, why not? She like, parole just said, you know what I'm saying? Come, the next time they see you, they want to see you in that office. You got to turn yourself in. I'm like, oh, man. You know, I got to do this parole shit. I said, fuck that. I ain't doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I bounced on these niggas. You heard? I started staying other places. That's how I got the name Antonio Bicicleta. You be hearing me say on, on, on YouTube. Cause I was renting a room from some from some boppy niggas on 194th and, Val and Valentine over by Kingsbridge, and I was coming in and out the building with the bike. I was renting a room in the basement of that building. They was like, "Yo, Antonio Bicicleta," laughing at me and shit. Cause that's some like folklore legend motherfucker in Puerto Rico that ran around on the bike and police couldn't catch him. That's what I was on, you heard? Riding around on the bike. Till I met, so I went to Manhattan one day. Saw my son snacks with some prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? One of the prostitute bitches had a black eye. I asked her what happened to her. She like, yo, this pimp nigga be beating me up. I said, come rock with us, but he ain't gonna touch you. You know what I'm saying? We went and met the nigga. Nigga was a little corny nigga too, man. His name was Freak. You know what I'm saying? This nigga was, he was soft. Super soft. You heard? He only, he only beat up chicken heads, so we wasn't worried about him. This bitch tell me she got a uh, uh, she from Massachusetts, New Bedford. Her grandmom's got this house, this and the third. I tell her I'm on the run from parole. I chill with her for a couple of days. We rented a, a hotel room in Queens. You heard in the 70 something or some shit like that in Queens. And she telling me about her real life in Massachusetts. She don't want to be out here. I'm on the run. I got to go somewhere. So we go to New Bedford, Massachusetts, my nigga. Uh, Stone get mad at me I'm on the phone with the nigga Telling him to play He like nah nigga Yo we got the plug I'm like yo nigga That shit over nigga Niggas is getting shot Police looking for me You know what I'm saying Somebody got murdered You know what I'm saying All types of crazy shit going on I'm like yo I'm out here son. Come on He ain't wanna do it So he got mad at me son. We had a little falling out Over that shit uh, But We get to Massachusetts I'm there for like two, three days with this hooker bum bitch. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never splacked her to nothing, too. You know? I just, I, I ain't respect her. You know what I'm saying? But I, want, I needed a spot to stay. So we get there. I got 50 grams, 50, 60 grams on me, son. I got, I got a couple of ounces of blood on me. You know? When we get out there, she held it. We get out, we take the bus out there. Two buses, to be exact. Right, because we went to Boston. I had to get on the bus to New Bedford. Anyway, long story short, Shorty got beef with niggas out there because before she left for New York, she got a nigga for like a, for like a rack or so you heard, on some perico and she dipped on the nigga to New York. So I'm chilling in her crib. One day somebody throwing pebbles at the window. I can hear it going, think, think. I'm like, the fuck is that? She 
like, yo, don't look out the window, but it was too late. I already put my two fingers in the blinds and looked out. So a bunch of Spanish niggas, B. I'm like, yo, shorty, you got beef with these niggas or something? She like, yo, I'm not here, I'm not home. I'm like, oh, shit. I said, why you ain't tell me that when we was in New York? So I'll be prepared, at least mentally. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you would have told me you had all that smoke before we jumped on these buses, I'd probably, I'd probably still be in New York, nigga, not worried about these niggas. My dumb ass, I go outside. Yo, what's good, fam? Little short motherfucker. This nigga was a gangster, too. I can feel the energy. The shortest nigga there, that nigga, I, that nigga felt dangerous to me. There's a bunch of them. It's like five, six girls and three dudes. They're like, yo, tell Jasmine to come outside. I'm like, yo, look, man, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? He tell me the story. He like, yo, this bitch, she gonna come back to this town after she robbed me. Uh -uh. I'm like, yo, look, B, I don't know this bitch like that. You know, I told him the truth. I said, look, fam, I don't know this bitch like that. You know what I'm saying? Give me like two, three days. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I got a situation going on. Give me like two, three days. I get the fuck up out of here, though. Y'all do whatever y'all want to this bitch. That's what I'm telling this nigga. You know what? He like, yo, I respect you came outside. I respect you not a coward. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you two days, nigga. If you here or you not here, we fucking that bitch up. Nobody stopping us. I said, I, res I respect that, puppy. You know, I respect that. I ain't fucking, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even trying to die here because of y'all niggas. You know, I respect it. He like, yo, you got two days, nigga. As soon as I went inside, nigga, I barked on this bitch. I packed my shit up. I was trying to go to the Greyhound buses. I was like, I'm out of here. But when I get to the Greyhound buses, the, the ticket booth just closed on me. There's a bus ready to leave, but the ticket booth closed. So I ran to the bus driver like, yo, fam, look, man, I got to get to fucking New York, my nigga. I ain't supposed to be out here. You know, he like, yo, the ticket boots closed. I said, yo, but what, you help me out, son. I pay double. He like, nah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you to Four River, and the bus there, terminal there is 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? You could buy the ticket there. But when I get to the bus route, terminal in Four River, the next stop over, the lady asked me for ID, which I didn't have. So she wouldn't sell me the ticket without the ID. So I runs back, she giving me a product. So I runs back to the nigga like, yo, bro, look, she being a bitch. She don't want to sell me the ticket. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get the fuck back to New York, bro. He like, yo, this is my job, man. There's nothing I could do to help you, man. You got to get an ID. I'm like, damn, bro, please help me out, man. Get me out of here. Mind you, I'm dirty as shit in the towns I never heard of. I'm in another town I never heard of. But now I'm awkward. Now I'm uncomfortable. You heard? I don't want to be here no more. You know what I'm saying? He like, yo, I can't help you. I'm like, damn, son, you left me out there. The motherfucker drives off with the rest of the people. I'm walking around a town I never heard of. Never heard of Four River, Massachusetts before. You heard? I you got said a you got book the, bag. Of you said you huh? got the weed and the coke on you? I got like 50, 60 grams, B, 50 something grams in my book bag. I got like, like, like three, four ounces in my book bag. You know what I'm saying? A purple haze. And I'm fucking... Black Puerto Rican and shit, nigga. You heard with a New York Yankee hat on and a lever and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking like a drug dealer and fucked up with nowhere to go in this town. When I come to the little downtown area, there's a bar open. I ain't want to be outside. So I went up in the bar. Nobody stopped me. I'm chilling in the bar. I met these two brothers. They was twins. You know, uh, uh, they was a little geeked up. You could tell they liked that Perico. My shit wasn't cooked yet. I ain't had grams of crack. I had grams of Perico. Just ain't cooked yet. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't telling what I had, but I, I went in the bathroom and I made me a little bag real quick. Came out and enticed them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Let them niggas get high off that shit. They offered me a rent. They offered me a room in their basement. You know what I'm saying? At their mom's crib, I gave them some coke. You know what I'm saying? I wound up in a random room downstairs. Boom, the next day, I comes outside. I wound up robbing a nigga for a phone. I don't know why I did that. I was being, you know what I'm saying? But I wound up robbing this kid for his phone because I didn't want to use mine. You feel me? I wanted to call my sister and tell her, yo, this is my dilemma. You know what I'm saying? But my sister hot because of the parole. You heard? So I was like, yo, let me use your phone, fam. But when the nigga tried to press me for his phone back while I was talking to my sister, I spazzed on the nigga, you know what I'm saying, put, flipped on him, and I walked away with his shit. So now I got two phones. I don't know why I did that. I shouldn't have did that. But anyway, I wound up meeting these two other chicken heads. They took me to their babysitter house where, where their kids was at, the kids' babysitter. I fucking caught them. I fucking saw 
shorty and it was over, nigga. I fucking saw shorty back, dude. We don't wind up getting married later on in life and all that shit was crazy, right? But I'm dead. For a couple of months in Massachusetts, I'm getting money, you heard? I'm getting money. Rest in peace to Eddie, too, man, because that's the nigga that put me on. You know, this Puerto Rican kid named Eddie. You know what I'm saying? He, that was the first spot I, I wound up staying, staying was his basement, you know what I mean? But he passed away, you heard, heart attack and some shit, doing drugs. You know what I'm saying? But I start getting money out there, I'm chilling. Until so one day, I, uh, 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 the Puerto Rican Day Parade came, I went back to New York for that shit. Me and Stoney wowed the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we, we bugging out in the, in the parade. We jumping over the damn police, trying to press me. They ain't know I was on the run. I told them, if you touch me, all these Puerto Ricans gonna go crazy. It's not the day to beat me up today, sir. You know what I'm saying? He fell for it. I bluffed the nigga. You heard Dipset float came by. Like, we was just having a mad fun time. Even though we was living a legal life, even though we was not doing the right thing for no, no shape or form, you know what I'm saying? We was young. We was getting money, we was doing our thing, me and Stoney passed up our relationship. He was mad at me that I left him in the Bronx. I was mad at that too, you know what I'm saying? You know how niggas don't like when you do that. I don't like when niggas do that neither, but I, I was on the run. So I'm back in the Bronx, go back to Massachusetts, fucking this bitch all day, every day, I living my life. Go back to the Bronx, that kid Lou, you remember I told you that nigga I slammed into the wall cause he ain't pop with us when I got jumped? Yeah. This nigga's a sucker. My, my goal was, I spoke to parole, right, when I was in Massachusetts. I wanted to see if I had any warrants or whatever. They was telling me I'm all right to come back, but I got to turn myself in. Where you at? Yo, I ain't telling where I was at. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going through that. I spoke to Pacheco. I'm like, yo, Pacheco, this little mic. He's saying, like, yo, what you doing? I'm like, yo, how much trouble I'm in? Huh? He's like, yo, you ain't in no trouble like that, man. You got this parole violation, though. We got to violate you. You know what I'm saying? So my plan was to go back to the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Do the parole violation, come back out, go to Massachusetts. You know what I'm saying? But when I get to the Bronx, you know, I'm chilling and shit. It's, it's the winter times coming in. It's like October or some shit like that. And um, I see that kid, Lou B. I didn't know what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Seen the nigga, I had some buzz. He like, yo, let's match a blunt. We go in this nigga building. He roll a blunt, I roll a blunt. This nigga's chirp keep going off. I'm like, yo, this nigga must be getting money. That chirp shit just wouldn't shut up. That shit was annoying. You know what I'm saying? But he was ignoring me. I'm like, all right, whatever. When we come out the building, it's when he says something on it. He said, brown hoodie on my mother's life. This nigga said, brown hoodie on the chirp phone. Huh? I, I had a brown hoodie on. But I didn't pay no mind to it. I'm walking ahead of these niggas, right? We hot. You know what I'm saying? I saw my homegirl Millie. I got mad butt on me, son. I went and got some butt to sell. I saw my homegirl Millie. She's smiling at me. I'm going to go give her a hug. While I walk, start walking to her to give her a hug, her eyes open like she saw a monster. I'm like, what the fuck this bitch looking at? I turn around, police rush me, nigga. Boop, 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 grab me on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. They take my bud, they spill all the bud, the bags, on the floor. They didn't even want the bud. You know, they didn't care about that. They let the block have the bud. They just spit. I had a zip lock with mad baggies in it. They spilled it on the floor. They locked me up. You heard? When we driving, to, they taking me to the barge, right? It's a parole violation they got me on. When we driving, these niggas said, yo, you know how we caught you, right? I said, nah, how you got me? He said, your brown hoodie. I said, oh, shit. It all makes sense. This nigga working with the police, son. He working with the warming squad for whatever reason. I don't know why. But he said brown hoodie on the chirp. And these police, they're not supposed to tell you that, but they don't give a fuck about us. You know what I mean? They probably want me to come home, body this nigga, and do another bid. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck. I'm like, wow, this nigga did me dirty, son. So I go and I do the violation. They send me back to Sing Sing uh, for a little 90 days. You know what I'm saying? I had fun in there, man. I, I, I felt comfortable, man. I wasn't, you know, I was getting high when I was in the street. You know, I always, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cokehead on the low. I'm the type of nigga back then where I would buy 50 grams, cook 40, and sniff the other 10. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ashamed of that. I don't do it no more. But, you know, back then, that's how I lived my life. You know what I'm saying? Most, me, most, most niggas that be in the drug game be fucking around, man. Yeah, that's how I fucked around. I'm not proud of it. I don't suggest it for nobody. It's really not good for you. 
You know what I'm saying? I did so much coke last. I'll tell you another story if you want, man. That I, I, I fucked up a ventricle in my heart. They said if I do it again, I'ma die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was really wildin' with that drug shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? I love selling crack and I love sniffing coke. That's just how I was. You know, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I guess this parole violation. While I'm doing the parole violation, Stoney the Brainiac doing the most in the street, dog. Stoney's doing the most. Rest in peace to Stoney the Brain. Realest nigga I ever met. But this nigga's out in the streets doing the most. You know what I'm saying? I've been talking to my sister and shit. She's like, yo, your man Stoney, wild nigga. I'm like, damn, son. I should have left that nigga working in that messenger service shit. You know, I, I started feeling guilty because, you know what I'm saying? I let that nigga rock with me with the drug shit when he had a job. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew that I was going to go in and out of prison. And I ain't mind doing that for myself. But now I got my little brother that I met in jail, and I got this nigga turned into a monster in the street. You know what I'm saying? When he could have just been working and he was doing the right thing before I came home. So I'm feeling guilty for that shit. Anyway, I do my parole violation. I'm seeing my people's in Sing Sing. You know, I left Sing Sing. They got me back here. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I do the parole violation. I get back to the streets. You know, when I get back to the streets, Stone winds up getting locked up, and I left back to Massachusetts with Shorty. You know what I'm saying? She got me working at the carnivals and all that. Yeah, so when I came home with that parole violation, I was still on parole. You heard? I owe these niggas like another year. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still on parole. And, um, but I left them niggas again. I wanted to be with that girl. So you know you, what I'm saying? You, you, bou like, you bounced on them niggas again? Yeah, I bounced on them again, son. I was just learning my lesson. I'm a hard learner. I bounced on him again. I, I bounced on him the day I came home type shit. My nigga, cause Stoney was locked up. You heard? So, so I come home to Stoney being locked up. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the world like, you know, I'm talking to Shorty on the phone like, yo, what you want me to do? She like, yo, come back out here. I'm like, yo, fuck it. I jumped on the motherfucking $15 Chinese buses to motherfucking Boston. Then I jumped on that little $12 bus to Four River. And I went back to Shorty. Her pops talking about he got a job for me at this carnival shit with his, one of his peoples. They take me to the shit. I meet one of the coolest motherfuckers I still love to this day, Paul Caesar. Shout out to Paul Caesar. You know what I'm saying? He gave me a job at the carnivals. That shit's like legal crack dealing, bro, but it's teddy bears instead of crack. You know what I'm saying? I'm singing my winner, 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 fried chicken dinner, do a fucking games at the fair all summer. You know what I'm saying? That shit's a, if you ever on a run from parole, y'all, join the carnival, nigga. Every week you somewhere else, bro, and the police don't bother you. You got this doofy looking shirt, but you getting money, son. Huh? You know what I'm saying? So I did that shit for a season, like nine months of that shit. Came back to the Bronx, <laughs> selling drugs again. My sister like, Yo, this is when my son passed away, man. The tattoo you see on my arm when I'm live is say V Rocks. It's when he had passed away. You know what I'm saying? That shit, I was depressed off of that. So my sister was like, yo, what you gonna do with your life? My sister's a good person. You know what I'm saying? Legit, working. You know what I'm saying? College, educated. Like, my sister's a dope-ass person. She from the hood, but she did all the right things with her life. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my sister, D. I love you, B. You know what I'm saying? But she like, yo, what you gonna... And my sister, X, too. She like, yo, what you gonna do with your life? My nigga... Yeah, so my sister, she kicking into both my sisters. They press me. I'm in, the, I'm in her crib. You know what I'm saying? She like, yo, my, my, my nigga V-Rocks just passed away. So I'm stressed out. Went to the little wake and all of that. But I ain't go to the funeral because after the wake that day, my sisters came and pressed me. She's like, what you gonna do with your life? I'm like, yo, I only owe this niggas this much time and this motherfucking parole shit. I want to get it over with. You know, I want to go back and live in Massachusetts and just, you know what I'm saying? I want to leave this shit alone. You know what I'm saying? They're like, all right, we gonna take you to the parole building. Right then and there. You heard, it's almost six o'clock, you know what I'm saying? It's about to close, they called the cab. I said, fuck it. I jump in a cab with these niggas. We go to the parole building, they closing, my nigga. We get there at like 6.03 or some shit. People leaving, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the people that work there. I knocked on the window shit. I saw Pacheco look out, my parole officer, he smiled at me. He let me in. They ain't even cuffed me. You know, they treated me like, they. I ain't gonna lie, they treated me like a human being, son. You know, like, shout out to them niggas for that. They let me sit there. Yo, what's going on with you, B? I told them everything that's going on. He like, you get high? I'm like, yeah, I'm getting high. You know what I'm saying? He like, yo, you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm all right, B. I just want to get this shit over with. You know what I'm saying? He like, well, at that time, I ain't owe you. I owe like 90 days, 90 something days. You heard? So he like, yo, he start writing on his shit. He start writing notes and all that. They never cuffed me, yo. They didn't cuff me for a while. 
I'm chilling with them. I said bye to my sisters, gave them hugs and kisses. They left. I'm chilling in the parole, but then it's just me, Vargas, Pacheco, and some black brother who was a parole officer too. They chilling with me. They talking to me. They doing a report on me. They just, they did not cuff me. They gave me something to drink, all that. You heard? They like, yo, they put a request for time served because I told them I was doing the carnivals and all that. He said, you get high when you in the carnivals? I didn't get high at the carnivals. That was the crazy shit. I only got high when I got back to the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Like, for the most part. Now, I told him that. He said, this is what we want you to do. We want you to go back to the fucking, to the carnivals. But we got to lock you up for now. You got to go see the judge. But we going to write a recommendation for time served. You know what I'm saying? So they sent me to the island. Nigga, when I get to the island, son, it's a punk-ass parole violation. But it's lit at the time. You hear me? I don't know what the fuck going on. But it's lit at the time. You can feel it. You know, and the island's always lit. They sent me to 12 something again, but it's a cell block. You're like 12 up or some shit they sent me to. I meet this Latin King nigga named Scar. You heard? Scar Fisher. I don't know what he. It's a bloodhouse. It's one Latin King nigga. He seemed to be. He seemed to have his props up though. I don't know what he did, why everybody liked him. But everybody, everybody respected this nigga. He from Brooklyn too. You know what I'm saying? Other niggas know who I'm talking about. Hey, yo, Scar, salute. Other niggas know who I'm talking about. They're going to hear that name. They're going to be like, oh, I know this nigga. You heard? Anyway, I just meet the nigga for the first time. This is one blood kid, though, yo. He being too nice, B. He trying to be my friend. You heard? And I don't trust him. He giving me these snake vibes. You know what I'm saying? He giving me, like, weird snaky vibes. But he trying to be my friend and shit. And he keep talking to me and shit. I don't really want to get this nigga no rhythm, right? Like, I don't trust this nigga. I don't like this nigga's energy. So I try to ignore this nigga. You know what I'm saying? A couple days went by. I go to the parole hearing. Well, well, before I go to parole hearing, I wind up smacking this nigga. A couple days go by, this nigga still talking to me. He try to play with the hands and all that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm like, yo, fam, I don't do that with nobody. You know what I'm saying? This is the second time I've been through this, too. Nigga won't play with the hands. So I slapped the nigga. Bah! He like, yo, I'm just playing with you, sir. I'm like, nah, fuck that. Let's get it. He like, yo, I'm just saying, Scar come out his cell. He like, yo, both of y'all niggas shut the fuck up, B. Ah, ah, ah. Other niggas like, word, son, y'all niggas is crazy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Niggas start flipping on us, whatever, whatever. I'm ignoring the other niggas, but Scar, he pulled me to the side. He like, yo, come here. He tell the other nigga, the blood kid from Queens, he had a scar on his lip, too. Like, from his lip to his chin. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Scar bark on both of us, pulled me to the side. He like, yo, my nigga, I've been in this house for nine months. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I ain't got no smoke here. You ain't gonna come here. Fuck it up for me. You know what I'm saying? Play your position. Uh, I'm like, yo, Scar, chill, nigga. This nigga won't play with I don't wanna play with nobody. He like, I understand what you're saying, son, but yo, just chill. Be full back. I'm like, ah, I got you. Uh, so he tell that other nigga that shit too, I guess, in the day room. Nigga don't bother me no more. I go to court. Instead of time served, they gave me 60 days. You heard? So when they give me the 60 days, I don't tell nobody. I ain't say nothing to nobody. I ain't know these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Tell these niggas my life. So I know I'm going up north any day now, right? The day before commissary, though, a couple days before commissary, this nigga come up to me, the kid with the scarred lip. You know what I'm saying? He try to make amends with me and shit. You know what I'm saying? He like, yo, fam, I holler at you. So we talk. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm thinking to myself, yo, it don't work us talking. You know what I'm saying? It don't work out with me and you being friends, bro. I really don't like this nigga. You know what I'm saying? But he like, yo, can we talk? So we talked and he like, yo, do me a favor, man, if you could, man, if you got it in your heart. That nigga said, if you got it in your heart. I said, what happened? He said, yo, look, when I was at OBCC, I broke a TV. So every time my family send me money, they take some of that. I said, hey, all right, so what you want me to do about that? Nigga, you want me to talk to them niggas and I take your money or something? You know what I mean? He like, nah, yo, if you don't mind, you know I'm saying, karma said we coming. I'm going to put you on the phone with my sister. She's going to put $40 to sign on your account. You know what I'm saying? You grab me some stuff from Karma Sevy. I'm like, yo, put your sister on the phone. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So I talked to his sister. His sister found it beautiful. She had a beautiful voice, nigga. I don't know if she looked like Willie Nelson or some shit, but I don't know what she looked like. But her voice, she had the Ariel voice, my nigga. The Little Mermaid voice, my nigga. Like, she sounded beautiful. You know? So I'm, I'm about to kick it to his sister. I mean, that's what I was thinking. But I said, I don't want to kick it to a booger wolf, though. Bitch, pull up on a visit looking like Jackie Chan or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't want that. You know? So she put the $40 on my account. I was nice to her. You know what I'm saying? The day before commissary, the night before, I locked in. I'm reading a book. I locked in. I locked my size. I ain't want to be around nobody. So I locked in, started reading a book. 
and the police, they not supposed to do it, but they did it anyway. It's before, right before lock-in, the nigga came to my cell. He was like, hey, yo, you leaving tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you got, you want to give it away or pack it up, but you leaving tomorrow. He says this shit. So the kid that his sister gave me the $40, he run up to my cell like, hey, yo, fan B, what we gonna do about that $40? I'm like, I don't know, nigga, what you want me to do? Nigga, they packing me up. He's like, yo, I need that, though, this and the third. My people ain't got money like that. I'm like, yo, it sucks to be you, my nigga. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I don't control the movement here. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, he was mad because nobody knew I was sentenced yet. You know what I'm saying? On, on, only other niggas from other houses that probably went to the parole hearing that day with me. You know? But these niggas here, they don't know. You know what I mean? I ain't tell nobody that I was sentenced. So he bugging out. He like, yo, fam, let me hold them sneakers or something. I'm like, my sneakers? You bugging, nigga. I laughed at this nigga. I laid down. I said, yo, get away from my fucking cell, man. You know what I'm saying? So then the police came. They said, yo, everybody lock in. The night's over. In the morning, they sent me to the gym shit or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? To go up north. Huh? So my son Viper from West Bronx out there, too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that little nigga. I love that kid. But he did. I bump into him. You know what I'm saying? This nigga gave me his milk, bro. You know how they give you the bologna sandwich with the milk, nigga, before you go up north, nigga, that little ugly-ass breakfast they give you? Well, he yeah, don't what, drink what milk. What you talking about? You talking about he black? Nah, he Puerto Rican. You okay. heard? Latin King, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days. You know what I'm saying? From West B. It's my man. So I, other niggas gonna hear this shit, they gonna know who I'm talking about, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yo, shout out, yo, shout out to Zoo Bang, son. I saw that comment, my nigga. God bless you, B. But, um, so, so, this nigga gave me the extra, his milk, so I drank two. You don't do that, y'all. Yo, anybody in the sound of my voice, if you're going up north, nigga, from the island, and they give you that motherfucking nasty-ass bologna sandwiches with the milk, don't OD on them shits. Them shits will fuck your life up, B, because that's what happened to me. Yo, when they start shackling us, you know what I'm saying, leg to leg, and they, you know what I'm saying, all that shit to get on the bus, they shackled me to an old man, look like Santa Claus, lads, you heard? They put my leg up on that motherfucking chair, click, click, and then I looked at the foot next to me, It was a, and I looked over, it was a fat white dude with the beard, B, look like Santa Claus. I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, click, 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 go up north, you know what I'm saying? When I get on, on the way there, though, I fought it, my nigga. Everybody was mad on the bus. Yo, who blowing it up? Santa Claus sleeping. So I looked at him like he the one who stink, nigga. You heard? <laughs> I said, ain't nobody gonna beat up the old man, Rod, you know what I mean? So he was sleeping, be at the window. You know what I'm saying? Niggas left it alone, whatever, whatever. But yeah, man, I goes back up north. I, go, I get to Comstock. I get to Downstate, back in Downstate, you know what I'm saying? That's why I see my nigga Tree out again, too, man. He was cadre. You know, I told you about Tree, right? You know, he killed the police in Brooklyn somewhere because his, mom, his mom's friend, too, at all that. She tried to get the... Uh, his mom's friend, the mom's trying to get the friend to talk to him, like, yo, change your life, whatever. He got paranoid. He thought they was coming to lock him up. Niggas start shooting at these niggas. He killed them. Anyway. Anyway, I see him again. Where was you know, that at again in the Bronx? Nah, that shit was in Brooklyn somewhere, you heard? That shit made the newspaper and all that back in the days, you know what I'm saying? I go to Downstate, then I go to Comstock. This is where the name Latin Pain comes from, for those that don't know. You heard, before they never used to call me that. They called me Bicycle Tony, Antonio Bicicleta, King Pals, Little Mikey, you know what I'm saying, I have other monikers, but I ain't never know, nobody ever called me Latin Pain. When I get to Comstock, you know what I'm saying, for my second time in my life going to Comstock, I don't got that much time to do. Mind you, I just did like two, three weeks on the island. They only sentenced me to 60 days. You know what I'm saying? They knocked 30, 37 days off of my thing because I turned myself in and I had a, I told you Pacheco gave a recommendation for time served or whatever, right, to release me from parole, but the judge didn't do that. But she did knock off like 37 days off my shit. So I'm up north now on some punk shit. Ain't even no real shit, right? But, I'm, but they sent me to Comstock because my class or whatever, you know what I'm saying, you know, I get it on with the police, you know what I'm saying, I don't, I don't, I don't really always listen to the program and none of that, you feel me, so I'm, I'm coming in back up north, like if I got a body or something, these niggas send me to Comstock, when I get to Comstock, 
You remember when I told you I was in Southport and shit? I started writing rhymes again. There was a kid next door to me. His name was Ty Nitty in Southport, Rob. Right? He used to bang on the wall, do beats and shit. I used to rap. You know what I'm saying? But when I get to Comstock, he my neighbor again, son. You know what I'm saying? Which time are you Tom talking Black. about? Nah, Which... nah, 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 not time that he part himself. He on my mind because I saw him on Instagram. Uh, uh Todd Black from Brooklyn. He next door to me, you heard? So he, we back at it. Yo, what up, nigga? I love this nigga, B. Todd Black, man. I, I pray I see him again. You know what I'm saying? But he had an asshole for the time, so I don't know what happened. Then. I lost contact. But anyway, he did. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of niggas is there. This is what made me not want to go back to prison no more. You heard? I'm going to tell you what happened to me, son. There was this last... Yeah, I'm going to say the nigga name, too, man. This nigga named Austin. I thought the nigga was cool. Puerto Rican nigga from, from Long Island. You heard? He was like half Puerto Rican, half Italian. One day I'm in the yard. Oh, I saw the ill war, too. I got to tell you that. But one day I'm in the yard, and I'm, so, I'm starting to like this kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm there like three, four days. I be talking to this nigga. He's funny. He hilarious. He seemed like a good dude. But then I asked him, I'm like, yo, how the fuck they lock niggas like you up, son? He tells me the story on how, you know what I'm saying, he got contract, he got a contract to kill this dude, but he couldn't catch up to the dude, so he went to the nigga house, put a pipe in the people's door, because they had one of those doors that I guess you pull open. He put a pipe in it, locked these people in their own apartment, and lit the house on fire. The house, he lit that shit on fire. He killed two babies, the wife and the grandma. You heard? He told me the story like he ain't had no heart, though. Like, there was no remorse, nothing. I thought that nigga was disgusting, B. Like, I got sad, bro. I wanted to hit that nigga, dog. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, I should eat this nigga food, son. Like, I, I started liking this nigga. This nigga gonna tell me he killed babies and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that nigga got like, bro, I ain't even mad, nigga. Fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't never talked to him no more. Then, then... One day, oh, and the kid, remember the I'm going to get to the kid with the $40 too, check this out. But one day, I'm chilling with my son Mello from Brooklyn, Puerto Rican nigga from uh, 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 Bay Ridge, you know what I'm saying? He used to be, he used to be one of those Connecticut Solido niggas or whatever, but he cool nigga. He from Bay Ridge. And um, I met him on the island years before. I'll see this nigga again too. I'm in the stock. And this, me and this nigga talking, this black kid, I forget his name, man, this blood nigga, he come up to us. He like, yo, do us a favor. Tell all the Puerto Ricans, tell all your manitos and them niggas to play the handball court, man. It's about to go down with us and the Muslims. So I'm like, all right, I go report that shit to the bros and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, these niggas talk about, yo, let's get all the Puerto Rican niggas over here. We won't mind our business. That's what they're telling me. So I went and told niggas, right? So they tell it mellow, really, because he has status. I'm just a parolee, nigga. You know what I'm saying? These niggas is living in there for real. So we both go over there. We tell the rest of the Puerto Rican niggas, Yo, everybody pull up to the motherfucking handball court. We start playing handball, front and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know nothing. Do -do -do. I mean, whatever. And um, like five minutes pass, I look over. Yo, my nigga, this shit was like, like, like brave heart or something. But everybody was black. You know, you had a crew of niggas on one side, crew of niggas on the other side. They looking at each other. Somebody says something. Next thing you know, oh, they all run at each other, clashing to each other. Niggas is getting poked up, niggas getting beat up. You know, I'm like, oh shit, I'm watching this shit like a movie, B, like like a hundred feet from me, B. I got a good seat and shit, you heard? I'm like, oh, these niggas is poked, yo, my nigga, this shit go crazy in Comstock Yard. You hear me? That's the war you said, them. that's the war you said you saw? That's the war, son. That shit was going down like a big bitch on a water slide, my nigga. These niggas was getting it in. Do -do 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 -do. Yo, niggas was falling, getting back up. I'm talking about, I, I don't want to exaggerate, but it was a lot of them niggas. It had to be at least like 40 niggas or some shit. I don't know, man. It was big. You know what I'm saying? But they was killing each other, B. And then the gun went off. Woo! Everybody dropped to their belly, except for the niggas in the fight, bro. Yo, I dropped to my belly. I'm still watching this shit, though. You huh? Hey, man, niggas on their belly, except for the bloods and the Muslims. You know what I'm saying? They going in. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm like, oh, shit. So, so the police rushed. Open that gate. Nigga, mad police came in. They start banging on niggas. Niggas are fighting with the police. You know, they, they, they gave the police the time for their life, too. You know what I'm saying? But then niggas start getting cuffed up, sprayed, all types of crazy shit. They go, they lock the jail down for like three days. You know, everybody in their cell, nigga. You know what I'm saying? For like three, four days, we all, we all, everybody on keep lock, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The whole building, right? I'm there writing rhymes and rhyming every night, dog. 
I'm rhyming every night. Do -do 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 -do. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Top Black doing the beats. I'm entertaining the whole tip. You know what I'm saying? We on like F Gallery or some shit like that. You know, I'm entertaining these niggas. Niggas was loving the raps and all that, man. Shout out to everybody who showed me love and that shit. I was feeling good. You heard? So I'm rhyming every night, nigga, on myself. Sometimes in a day, too. When one day I had wrote this rhyme called In Search of Holy Men, right? And um, I'm rhyming it, me and Ty, me and Ty Black doing the beats. He like, yo, you got a rhyme? Yeah, yeah, it's called In Search of Holy Men. You know, I'm telling the whole crap. I start performing, and the nigga Moose. Next to me was this kid named Mexico. You know what I'm saying? Cool motherfucker. Right next to Mexico on the left side of me, you know what I'm saying, was this Puerto Rican kid, brother, older man, named Musa. You heard he was Puerto Rican, but he was Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Cool motherfucker, too. You heard I loved it, these people. You know what I'm saying? I loved it them so much, I didn't even want to go home. My nigga, like, this is my brothers. You know what I'm saying? But... He said, while I'm rhyming the rhyme, I heard, I overheard him say, yeah, my, my nigga, my nigga spit that Latin pain. My nigga spit that Latin pain. I heard him say that shit, you heard? I'm rhyming and shit. And this nigga Musa said, yeah, yeah, son spit that Latin pain. So I kept rhyming, but when I finished the rhyme, and nigga showed me love, like, yo, Brandon, that shit was dope, nigga. I'm like, yo, good looking. Uh -uh. I said, yo, Musa, what you, what you was saying? He said, yo, you spit that Latin pain. I said, oh, I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? I like how that sound. So he was like, yo, you going home with something, nigga? You take that shit, you get famous. I said, yo, if I get famous, bro, I'm going to come back and get you, nigga. You heard? That's your fault. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I got the name Latin Pain, son. You heard? For those that wonder why. You know what I'm saying? They call me that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't make it up. That kid, he liked my rhyme so much, he called my rhyme style Latin Pain. You feel me? Anyway... After the motherfucking lockdown was over, you heard, and we back in the yard, the Latin King niggas told me to stop coming to the yard because I told them I was going home. So the LK niggas, I ain't tell everybody, but I told the LK niggas I was going home. They told me stop coming to the yard. Yo, you on full back position. You know what I'm saying? We don't want you getting in trouble. We'd rather have kings on the street than kings in the jail. You know what I'm saying? You know, in Comstock, it's like type of spot where, you know what I'm saying? You could be going home all you want, nigga, but one wrong fucking thing happens, you got a new one, son. You know what I'm saying? Or, or police, you know what I'm saying? Assault police or some weird shit. Like, they'll plus set you up over be, there. Plus niggas be hating when you going home, man. Niggas be plus wanting, niggas, niggas want to see you lose your too. date. Yeah, yeah, that's a fun, and I'm going to tell you that too, son. But, yo, I'm chilling in the yard, right? I didn't listen, son. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm hard-headed, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to stay in my cell unless I'm in the box. You know what I'm saying? So I was going to the yard. And niggas was like, niggas pressed me, like they got mad at me. Like, yo, if we see you in the yard again, yo, you know what I'm saying? You gonna, you know, you gonna put us in a position to do something to you. I'm like, oh shit, y'all niggas about to hurt me, nigga? Like, y'all bugging. You know, because I'm coming to the yard. They just wanted me to go home, son. They were showing me love. I just wasn't listening. But remember the kid I told you, his, that sister sound like the Little Mermaid? This kid I slapped on the island and, you know what I'm saying, scarf on us and all that with the $40? Yeah. Yo, right before I go home, I look so, I'm in the yard, I see this nigga, he see, he don't see me. He talking crazy spicy too, like, you can see his hands moving. Like, he looked tougher in Comstock than he did on the island. I guess that nigga had some practice over there, son, you heard? I don't know, son. You know what I'm saying? But he was, like, different, like, his energy was different. I seen him talking to a crowd of niggas, like, telling his life story or whatever. His hands moving, he got the face. So I walked past, and I, and I see, yo, what's good, fam? You know what I'm saying? So he looked at me, he like, oh shit, that's that Puerto Rican. So he pull up, he like, yo, yo, what's poppin', fam? I'm like, yo, what's good? How you doing, son? He like, yo, let me holler at you. I'm like, let's spin the track. So we spin the track talking. He like, yo, look, man, I was lamenting when I said it, man. My family don't got money like that. He don't know I'm going home. He don't know nothing about my life. He like, yo, my family don't got money like that. You know what I'm saying? I could use that $40 that I I said, yo, look, don't worry about it, son. If I got it, you got it, though. If I got it, you got it. I ain't never gave that nigga shit, lads. You heard it? You know what I'm saying? But if I got it, you got it. You know what I mean? Anyway, long story short, they pressed the Latin King niggas pressed me. The second time they pressed me, I stopped going to the yard. You know what I'm saying? I only had like three, four days or some shit like that. Maybe, maybe a little bit less than a week sometime to go home. Them niggas told me, stop coming to the yard or they're going to put it on me. I said, fuck it. I stopped coming to the yard. You know? I ain't trying to piss y'all niggas off. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in myself for the last couple of days. I, that's when I told Ty. You know what I'm saying? That's when I told Ty Musa and, and, and Mexico that I was going home. 
this shit broke my heart when I told him that shit. Remember, me and Ty go back a couple years because we was in Southport together. He was my neighbor. You know what I'm saying? We built a bond, nigga, like we know everything about each other. We shared. I love that nigga Ty Black. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I told that nigga the day before I was going home. I was like, yo, Ty, man, I'm going home tomorrow. He was like, what? I was like, yeah. He was like, nah, son. He, yo, that nigga got sad, son. Nigga made me sad, son, you heard? Everybody else was like, well, yo, praying God bless you, stay out of trouble. This, this. this nigga Ty said, yo, let me punch you in the face when we lock out. Cause he thought, I had two days to go home. He like, yo, let me punch you in the face when we lock out, son. I said, why you gonna punch me in the face for, son? He said, you gonna fight me back, pain? You gonna lose your good time? I said, I don't got no good time, son. I'm done, son, I'm maxing. He like, damn, I'm gonna miss you, B. Yo, that shit made me sad, bro. You know, like, I, yo, son, on oh, my mother, son, that shit made me cry, bro. I was in my cell, like, trying to be quiet about it, but I cried, my nigga. Nah, that's uh, a fact. I cried like a baby when I went home, because I was leaving my niggas. They were still there. You feel yeah. me? That shit broke my fucking heart. I had to go uh-huh. in the bathroom, and I just motherfucking, I had to lock. It was a one-man bathroom in motherfucking Hudson. I went in the bathroom and locked the door in that bitch. And my shit just Yo, I, boo-hooing, nigga. I was boo-hooing. Me? Some of the best people that I love to this day that I ever met in my life, I met them in prison, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and it hurts to say bye to niggas, good niggas that ain't coming home and shit. You know what I mean? Like, I felt selfish, nigga. Like, and, I, and I couldn't control it. You know, I had to go home. They was kicking me out that jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's time to go home. You know, I cried last like a bitch, B. Well, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I had pillow on my face, all types of shit, nigga, wiping tears, nigga, my shit was flooding. You heard? I gave that nigga my rhyme book, son, except for the song In Search of Holy Men. You know what I'm saying? I had a composition. I gave that shit to Top Black, you heard? You know what I'm saying? I let that nigga keep that shit. And I know he remember me, you know what I'm saying? But I lost contact with the nigga because I couldn't remember. After a couple of years, bugging out again, I got to the streets. I didn't do the right thing no more. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to say that I, that, I, that I did all the wrong things and I was wild and super gangster. That's not the truth. You know what I'm saying? But I did think I was slick, you know what I'm saying? Until I, I, All the way till I was, I mean, I can tell you stories all the way till I was 38 years old, my nigga. You know, I'm a late learner, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to tell you too much on this one, you heard? But I went home from that shit, you heard? And when I got home from that shit, I went back to Massachusetts. My shorty that I was married to at the time, you know what I'm saying? She was right outside of Comstock, Great Meadows up north. She was right outside in the white van, nigga. Picked me up, took me straight to motherfucking Massachusetts. Uh, and it got a little weird over there, but it was good for a while. You know what I'm saying? But I miss a lot of them niggas. Lads, I ain't gonna lie, son. A lot of dudes, I wish I could have took them home with me. You know what I'm saying? Some great people. You know what I mean? And I advocate because a lot of times, like, I know how it feels to try to go get a regular job or some shit. They're looking at your papers like, oh, you're a piece of shit. Nah, I ain't a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? It just took me a while to learn what you learn, nigga. That's all. You know what I'm saying? So I know a lot of good niggas coming home, and I'm saying I wish them well. You feel me? I know y'all great people. You made some mistakes. You feel me? But don't let the world look down on you, son. Only God could judge. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I don't disrespect or try to play niggas that I know that came from the struggle that we came from, son. Because I know what it feels like to be people looking down on you because, you you know what I'm saying, you ain't had it all there or you ain't know no better coming up, B. You feel me? That's a whole fact. Times is hard, so I'm moving dimes are hard. In the project called At Yo. the Ox store on the boulevard. Times is hard, so I'm moving dimes are hard. In the project called At Yo. the Ox store on the boulevard. Times is hard, so I'm moving dimes are hard. In the project called At Yo. the Ox store on the boulevard. Times is hard, so I'm moving dimes are hard. In the project called At Yo. the Ox store on the boulevard. He fixed the notice on my door. I can't, I can't take, take it no more. more. Got to hit the Aki store so, so I, I can, can bring in some revenue. The rent is due. So I'm stopping shoes and cutting doors. Leave yeah. niggas broke. It's my antidote. St. Blast threw me the pad. So I'm running the touchdown. Yeah. Get my head out of the sewer. I'm tired of the underground. This New York sound is profound. It's about time we take it back now. Back, so how nigga. the fuck that sound, nigga? Yeah, how the fuck that sounds is hard, so I'm moving dimes are hard In the project called At Yo. the Ox store on the boulevard Times is hard, so I'm moving dimes are hard In the project called At Yo. the Ox store on the boulevard Times is hard, so I'm moving dimes are hard In the project called At Yo. the Ox store on the boulevard Times is hard, so I'm moving dimes are hard In the project called At the Ox store on the boulevard Uh, yeah, I got 12-12 Shit, 
12 cell Lock in No names We moving through the lanes yeah. Maneuvers My gang We shoot bye, bye, bye. Get em. Yeah The block molding Fire Old man 90 Holding And throwing <laughs> Chosen Fuck the dicks Fuck world cups Mustard shits Yeah For Knicks New York Out here Outside pitching Block to the kitchen Rocks and sizzling My Cody home, son need a new phone and a brand new chrome. Got all the gun, the heart is sick, the back home starter kit, the grip. Take a trip down memory lane, big black semi and pain. Cocaine, times is hard, so I'm moving dimes of hard. In the project called At York. the Ox store on the boulevard. Times is hard, so I'm moving dimes of hard. In the project called At York. the Ox store on the boulevard. Times is hard. So I'm moving down so hard in the project court at your the Ox store on the boulevard. Times is hard, so I'm moving down so hard in the project court at your the Ox store on the boulevard. Yeah, that New York shit. We back, nigga. Chief Cherokee, Saint Lazarus.